All right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. I got some video clips for you guys today, so I will put those in right now, and I'll try to do a little uh, voiceover, um, but they're really short clips, so we'll see how, how that goes. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoy this real quick. All right, so here is some of the ventilated cable trays after I marked them all out, um, ready to be cut. This was at first break, um, some more up here on the table. And then this is with the jig after we already drilled these, um, drilling the holes at the end of these so they can be bolted together with the plates. Um, and this is kind of what the plates look like. And this is the jig that we have right here. Basically just butt it up to the end, mark it with a Sharpie, and then drill it out um, for the ones that can't make it into the punch that are less than three inches long or two and a half. Um, and then this is what they look like when they're about done. Um, ready to go on to either in a bin or on a little rolling cart. And then this is some just 12 footers labeled right there. And uh, that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much what we did all day. Uh, it was a good time. All right, guys. So that's basically what I worked on today. And like I said, I got a few things coming today in the mail. I have my hammer right here below. I also went ahead and took back a few of the quad ratchets from Husky. Like I said, Husky was always doing good. I never really used them that much, but they finally broke. So Husky and Gear Wrench both break. I just think it's a flawed design and they do wear out after a while. Um, the ratchets um, just kind of start slipping or the handles break off on the little um, little ratchet knobs right there. So anyways, um, I just exchanged it for something else. They had a lifetime warranty, so I took them back to Home Depot. Finally got the, the 7-in-1 flip socket with the handle so I'm really excited so I got that straight up for free actually I got that for 30 cents off because they were really nice and didn't make me pay for the extra 30 cents um so I'm gonna go ahead and open the hammer real quick it's a little beat up so um I'm already aware of that and then I went ahead and exchanged my apple watch for a smaller size um so busy day after work today got all three of those all three of those things done in an hour exchange at Home Depot, exchange at Best Buy, and I also exchanged or returned two of my belts that I'm going to be, I'm going to be in, in my friend's wedding. So it took me three tries to get the right belt from Amazon because they were all broken or too big or whatever. So I got all three of those errands done and now we're making this video. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this hammer real quick and show you guys what it looks like. Um, I'm really excited about it. Uh, I think it does have a little bit of paint on it and I'm not sure how old these are or how old this style is. Um, let me go ahead and open this plastic. <clears throat> I'd say it's probably at least 20 to 40 years old, but I'm not sure. Maybe one of you guys would know. I can also post it on the Klein forum, uh, but this is what it looks like. It is the blue handle fiberglass. Uh, it looks like someone scratched their initials in here. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's actually a lot thinner than I thought right here. Really, really thin, um, but there's like no sharp edges. And I'm not a fan of these, but I'm not gonna be using this anyways, but I'm not a fan of the big long heads right here, which is why I prefer the little baby short one right there. Um, but anyways, the cool thing about this is it says Klein tools in the handle and on the back it says warning wear safety goggles. But other than that, there are some, basically just right here is the only problem right here is there's just like a ton of little chunks missing. But other than that, it's it's in pretty good shape. It has some paint on it or whatever, so um, not the cleanest or whatever. Like there's a little paint right there. But anyways, I'm really excited to um, get this. I'm gonna put this one on the wall. Uh, I'll try to maybe get this paint off eventually, but for the time being, I don't own any of that supplies as a new homeowner. Um, but anyways, I'm excited to add this baby to the collection. It's something that I've wanted for a while. Um, and yeah, I think that was about it. So. Thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys back in the next one tomorrow. Hopefully you guys have a great Wednesday. I think it's Wednesday. Um, anyways, hopefully you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for watching. God bless. See you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, that'll do it. Peace. All right, guys. So I just opened up one other piece of mail. I wasn't really expecting this, but it is the drug test that I took for my new job. And they gave me, this is what always happens in the union, they give you $50 for taking a drug test, uh, assuming granted that you pass it. But anyways, $50 every drug test is pretty awesome, so can't wait to catch that baby. Yeet, yeet.